quick update from my constant exchange of words with YouTube. Here they are admitting the channel views are not what they should be for the amount of content we have created. They say that, looking at your channel's real time report in YouTube studio, I can see that you're getting an estimated 20 to 300 views per hour. And these views are not yet fully verified by our systems. But we can confirm that this is lower compared to your expected numbers given that you have around 623 public videos at the moment. And I'll keep you guys informed how this pans out. Now on with the show. Did a comet just streak over Bristol? Or was it just jet contrails? Why make a video about jet contrails? Well, because it shows that we are still influenced by things that take place in the sky. When we look up, we want to see something that we can almost sense is there. And while the world waits eagerly for disclosure to be delivered imminently, the people of Redland and Bristol had their own close encounter as reports flooded online over the weekend that a slow moving comet was burning out over Bristol. Wait to hear this. Yes, these reports did surface as a white streak appeared over the city. At first glance, this is nothing more than jet contrails, but for the people who witnessed it, when they say, it was very strange and unlike anything I had ever seen before, as reported in the Bristol Post. Described as a mystery streak of light and footage captured in Redland on Sunday evening, and the witness who filmed the mystery plume said it looked like a comet. He told Bristol Live, a very strange, wide big streak of light descended very slowly and seemingly vertically down and parallel to the sun. There was a very strange pattern beside it too. Of course, this is explainable as jet plumes being exerted against the sunshine. In other sentence, the jet can literally look like a blazing celestial object entering our atmosphere, but explainable as the contrails simply glistening as the sun is setting. And these are just everyday occurrences, and any day now, a task force will share data it collected on unusual flight phenomena with Congress. And it's likely to include things we cannot explain, according to Barack Obama. So if you have an interest in UFOs, and if you've always wondered exactly what the US government and other intelligence services know about them, then this month, June 2021, may be a big month for you because the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, a group within the US Department of Defense, is set to present an unclassified report to Congress this month about what knowledge Pentagon officials have gathered on UFOs and how they are dealing with that data that they have managed to collect over the years. And we will be delivering those findings to you guys, but in the meantime, comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.